and quickens for the individual the punishment and severe punishment from Allah with everything else that which is piled up for him in the hereafter of punishment min al than oppression so this individual for this person there is a there is a sin that which quickens the punishment of Allah and is disgraceful in the eyes of Allah and it piles up for him punishment in the hereafter and there are two sins the first one is al baghi to be oppressing towards another individual or a group of individual and this means to oppress somebody that's below you so the person who is going to be oppressing will always be of a status slightly higher or would think himself to be higher in position hence he would oppress the person below him in status or under him the likes of a person who runs a shop and he has workers or the person who runs a management and he has staff members or a person who's the father of the house and he's got the children and the wife to look after and he does not do that he oppresses them this quickens the punishment of Allah so if a person who does that he will be deserving of the punishment of Allah rather not just that but Allah will quicken the punishment for him and also a person who breaks relations so for a person who may break relations with his parents or destroy that which he has with his relatives or he says the fact that they're not liable for uh, to the extent I sit with them or I talk to them he spoke to my parents in such and such manner so many years ago and today I'm not going to do this so he breaks these relations this also quickens the punishment of Allah and this is not to be taken lightly sometimes we think due to uh, the person's attitude or his uh, methodology in the religion or his aqidah we think the fact that we have the complete right to completely abandon them but rather we see there are still rights to be fulfilled and those rights are important and for for an individual to fulfill upon the command of Allah but at the same time you continue your da'wah you continue your sabab you continue your, your good attitude towards them in another hadith an Imran ibn Hussein radiyallahu anhu qala qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ma taqulun fi zina wa shurb al khamri wa sariqa Imran ibn Hussein he said that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said what do you say with regards to fornication wa shurb al khamr and the drinking of intoxicants alcohol wa sariqa so these are three sins to have ill relations and secondly to drink uh, from intoxicants and thirdly to steal Qulna Allahu wa rasuluhu a'lam. we said to the prophet of Allah only Allah knows and the prophet of Allah knows of it the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said that they are acts of outrage and shameless acts so, and Allah azza wa jal descends because of these three acts his punishment should I not inform you of something that which is of the worst of sins, as shirku billah, to aside partners with Allah, wa uqoqul walidayn, and to be disobedient towards your parents, wa kana muttaki an fahtafaza, and he was sitting down and he stood up, or he was leaning against something and he sat up, qala wa qawl al zur, and to give false testimony. The supplication of the parents. It's something again a person should be warned of and he should try to achieve. And uh, here in this hadith of Abi Huraira radiallahu anhu qala qala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam thalathu da'awatin mustajabatun lahunna la shak fihinna. Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned upon the authority of Abi Huraira that there are three du'as that are always answered in the eyes of Allah. La shak, there is no doubt in their answering from Allah Azza wa Jal. Da'wat al madhloom a person who has been oppressed. So we might think the fact that uh, something small is okay. I'm saying to even take someone's sweet away from him, knowing the fact that this is his right, is oppressing another individual. Taking away someone's five pound, or even to say the fact that I could lighten the scale, take a little pound out of the flower, and give it to the other person and I will make a little bit more money this is oppressing his right so here da'wat al-madhloom 
to all the dua of the oppressed. When they raise their dua against you, Allah will never reject it. So secondly, وَدَعْوَةُ musafir, A person who is traveling, when he raises his hands to Allah, Allah never rejects his dua. وَدَعْوَةُ الْوَالِدَيْنِ And the dua of the parents, عَلَى وَلَدِهِمَا When they make dua for their child, Allah never rejects that dua. Again, if we have our parents, we should try to engage in trying to serve them in the best manner possible, achieving from them their good words and their dua, and I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to grant us that. I pull the Quran. This is the Quran.